What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters EX video. My name is Charlie and today we're gonna get into Entei's uh, Legendary Arena. Uh, the very hard one uh, because that's the one that people are gonna have the most problems with. Uh, and we're gonna do this completely free to play team. If you did not see my video on how to build out this team, did that yesterday. Make sure you check it out right up there. Alright, so we're gonna hop right in uh, with the Berry, Empoleon, uh, Skyloswana, and Misty, and Starmie Grid. Gridded, completely gridded, three out of fives. Alright, so first things first, you want to get your defenses up. My Hesitation, which is really good, sharply raises the speed and critical hit rate. Uh, the only downfall that we don't have on Barry and Empoleon is that they do not have Critical Strike 2 on them, which would significantly increase the amount of damage that they do. Although the damage that they do is pretty significant already. Uh, remember, we're just increasing the speed, which is with inertia and ramming speed, it's really going to increase our uh, damage output with Empoleon. Alright, now we're going to do Bubble Beam. What we do is we have three moves lined up, so the counter is at three. Now we just did Take Flight. It's going to bring us down to two. Uh, X Special Defense All is going to bring us down to one. And then Bubble Beam is going to bring us down to zero. And then we can do our Sync move, and then we're going to bring back our uh, Take Flight and X Special Defense all. Uh, it's just a, the most efficient way to uh, reduce your sync, uh, your sync move count. So that way you're not, it's not like ready, and then you're like trying to get to your sync move when uh, you need to. Because you want to do as many sync moves as possible, that's why you're not trying to uh, when you have the sync move ready and you accidentally keep pressing more moves, you're like, no, get to your sync move. Get to your sync move quickly and get to it as fast as possible. Now, the first person that we're going to use Catch Us If You Can on is Misty. Uh, because when it increases the evasiveness and lets you heal when you do an attack. Uh, and when Misty is, uh, when a move misses Misty, she actually heals a little bit more. And we're going to use the other one on Empoleon here. And if we can get an MP Refresh on, catch us if you can, we'll use that on Skyla and Swana. We'll see if we get lucky. We are not lucky. <laughs> but you can see that the sync move is ready to go. Uh, so this is what exactly what you don't want to do. So now that the sync move is ready to go, we have Gust and uh, Starmie's Bubble Beam going before it. Uh, but now that the sync move has been activated, you can use the other moves that are going to count towards the next sync move countdown. Just so you guys know. Alright. If you didn't know, now you know. Alright, so, see, look at how much damage that did already, man. Empoleon so good. <laughs> he was a meme for a long time, and then he got his sync rid, and now he is a meme no more. Alright, that did a little bit more damage to Empoleon than I thought it would, so we're going to send a potion his way. Uh, because this uh, sync move is going to do some damage to him. Uh, Starmie and uh, Swana I'm not too concerned about when it comes to them taking too much damage because they have really good defenses right now. But, Empoleon is a strike unit, not a defense unit. So there we go, his health's back up. We got the MP Refresh on Potion, which is awesome. Alright, so now see, we're not doing another move with uh, Starmie. We're doing Bubble Beam. We're going to line up that Sync move now. Now we're going to use Bubble Beam. There we go. And with this sync move, it should take out uh, Entei's first health bar. It should take out his first health bar. Yeah, there you go. So now we're on to his second health bar. Do that bubble beam. We might need to use a potion on... Uh, on Swana here. Because the AoE attacks 
are not helpful. They're not helpful. That's why you want to get to your sync move as much as possible with uh, Empoleon. Because catch us if you can is still working. It's still giving us some health with uh, Starmie, so that's nice. Okay, cool. And we got another potion in Pure Refresh. That's really cool. Really, really cool. We'll save that, though. Alright, three. So this is going to be uh, when uh, Empoleon attacks. That'll be the end of the countdown. Two. Gust is get us down to one. And Bubble Beam from Empoleon brings us down to zero. Sync move. And then back to uh, Gust and Bubble Beam on Sarmi's end. And Bubble Beam's a pretty good... See, look at how much damage that did, you guys! So good! So good! Uh, oh, now he's gonna use Bulldoze. Ah, okay. But, uh, yeah. And the great thing about using Bubble Beam is that it has a, a, a chance of lowering the target speed. So it's really, really helpful in that matter, too. We're probably going to need to use a potion on Empoleon here. And if we need to, we can use one on Starmie if we get the MP Refresh again. Again, getting lucky with the MP Refresh is also very helpful. So yeah, using the... Um, can we get the MP refresh? We cannot. That's fine though. Uh, Misty does need a uh, a potion though, and we're gonna go ahead and use sync move. Oh no! Whoa! I did not see Starmie going down that fast. Okay, that double edge did a lot. That was a waste of a potion. We got the potion back though. At least we got the potion back. That's that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I think this bubble beam should take him down to his last... Um, his last health bar. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to have to put in some work here, but we will be closer to doing our next sync move in his next health bar. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Getting close, come on. Yeesh, we're gonna have to use a potion next on, on uh, dear old Empoleon. And this is my first time really using this team on uh, the very hard stage. I, ha I still have, you guys will see that I have not gotten the medal, the complete, because the completed medal for, um, Inte yet. Alright, so after Gust, we'll be using our... Ooh, he's burned. That's not good. Okay, so we'll use our Sync move next. This should do a lot of damage. There we go. And after this, we'll use a full heal on him. Oh, and on... Oh, God. They're both hurting. Okay. They're both burned. That's not good. But see how much damage that uh, did? Alright, so we're going to use... Full heal on Empoleon. Ooh, goodness. We're getting close. Alright. So we'll use a full heal on... Eh, well, never mind then. Alright. Can we survive long enough to get to our next sync move? That is the question. No, we cannot. Okay, time to restart. Got really close. Need to get a little bit luckier. A little bit luckier on our uh, on our MP refreshes. That's really it. You just got to get a little bit lucky on your MP refreshes, guys. Oh, let's see here. Okay, take flight. X defense all, no hesitation. So that's all automatically taking us down to six of our number six of our sync move countdown. So another three is going to bring us down to three, and then another round all the way through is going to take us all the way through to our first sync move. So if you guys can keep the count in your head, it helps you realize your 
you're uh, not not wasting any uh, moves when it comes to getting Empoleon to do his sync move. So one, two. Next up, sync move time. There we go. Catch us if you can. Take flight. Boom! Getting a healthy chunk of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, give us a catch us if you can MP refresh. Nope. Okay. Gust. Boom. Double beam. Hey, we did get a uh, catch us if you can MP refresh. Nice. That's going to go on Swana. Uh, so that way Swana will be able to keep her health up uh, for a while at least. So that way we can save the potions so that way we're not uh, praying for more <laughs> potion MP refreshes than we need. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if full heal will help with being trapped. Is that considered a status condition? Oh, see, look, I lost count. We're already down to one. So we gotta wait for X Special Defense all in Gust before we can hit with our next sync move. Whoops. That's my bad. Okay. I mean, we'll try. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I haven't. I can't remember. Yeah, I did say a, uh, a factually incorrect thing yesterday in my... Uh, uh, need to point this out. Because uh, Evolutions pointed this out for me in the uh, comments. Hostile environment will not help with flinch, by the way. That's only for uh, sleep or uh, poisoning. Stuff like that. So not flinch. That's my bad. Thank you, Evie, for uh, keeping me on track. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Gust. Boom, boom, boom. So probably going to need to use potions here soon. I want to wait until at least his second health bar, though. So we'll see if he... Uh, we're going to have to use a potion. At least on uh, Starmie. Okay. Yeah, the potion's going to help keep uh, Starmie in the game. Three. Two. We're going to do a potion on Empoleon. One. Starmie's going to be just fine. There we go. Double beam. And then this sync move possibly will take... Uh, cool, and we got Potion MP Refresh. Remember, we're try not trying to rely on Potion MP Refreshes, but it does help quite a bit to get them. Takes the edge off a bit, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Got the Bubble Beam in. His critical hit rate went up, that's not cool. But it is expected. Starmie's looking a little worse for wear. After this eruption, we'll see where Starmie's health is at. Yeah, it's not too bad. Firefang's coming, that has a, a chance of flinching. We might need to throw another potion on the Starmie here. Go ahead and do that. Four, so there's three. Now they're all lined up, so we'll just wait for Bubble Beam, and then Eruption's gonna hit us again. There we go. No Potion MP Refresh on that, so we're down to one MP on, uh, MP on Potion. Ooh, getting close. This is gonna be a nail-biter one, you guys. This is gonna be a nail-biter. Oh, it does so much damage. 
Loving it. You can stop with the AoE attacks, though. That's not helping. Bulldoze. I don't like bulldoze anymore. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see how much damage he's at by the time we get to our sync move. And then we'll see if we need to hit him with a sync move right now or if we can just finish him off with bubble beams. And then, uh... Cool, speed went down again. That's great. Because we're doing a lot of damage with Empoleon's Bubble Beam, which is helpful. It's very helpful. Remember, that comes from, uh, not inertia, but ramming speed. Inertia is what, uh, the more your speeds increase, it increases your sync move damage. Ramming speed, the more your, uh, speed goes up, it increases your, uh, just attack damage. The power of your moves. So, we will just go ahead and do one more... Oof, it did so much damage. Can we get an MP Refresh on Potion? Come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes! Starmie's staying in the game! <laughs> that right there might be the difference between dying and not dying. Cool. And now we can hit him with... Sync move. Can we get another MP Refresh on Potion? We cannot, so we are... Unfortunately, this is, uh, we're in the final stretch here, guys. But we do have all three of them, so we're going to be able to get to our sync move very quickly, even though we're all poisoned, so full heals. Full heals on the important ones. Full heal over on Starmie. I just don't want to use a move right now. <laughs> we kind of use a move. Uh, full heal. Full heal on to Empoleon. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Starmie is staying in the game long enough for us to do another sync move, thankfully. Should have used that on uh, that full heal on to. Ah. Should have used the full heal on to Swana. The more you know, you guys. Double beam. Okay, hopefully this sync move takes him out. Hopefully this sync move takes him out. Can it take him out? Please take him out. And do not take us out. Oh, it's so close. Oh my god, this sync move really does have to be it. It really does. Is Swana still in this? We did it! Free to play. There you go, you guys. Completely free to play team. No rewards. I saw a post, post about this earlier. Uh, yes, if you guys are angry about no rewards on the very hard legendary arena stage... Send a nicely worded, not angry worded, nicely worded feedback, which I'm going to do, to Pokemon Masters. And if you don't know where that's at, we'll show you after we collect these. Uh... Yay, so here's the rewards. Uh, but these are just the one-time rewards. Did get a five-star power-up, that's nice. 200, not bad. Alright. So let's go ahead and get the rewards, the medal for this. Uh, let's see here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. General, here we go. We'll just claim all. Get that. Boom. Intei's Bane. And here it is. Queller of Molten Flames. Not too bad. Alright, so let's check out where this feedback's at. So if you go to your uh, Poryphone, go to Other... And then go to... Oh, where is it at? 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 Is it FAQ? I think it's FAQ. No, it's not FAQ. Where is it at? Customer support. If you go to customer support and feedback, right here you can 
uh, send your nicely worded feedback about not getting any rewards from the very hard Entei level on the Legendary Arena. Alright guys, make sure you send very nicely worded letters. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you have not already, so you never miss out on any of my daily Pokemon Master content, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>